Last Saturday, a Special Forces Green Beret went on a shooting spree in Illinois, killing three people over the age of 65 and also shooting a 16-year-old girl. I'm gonna fill you guys in how we got to this point, how this all happened, when, where, what, and why. Before we jump in, if you guys are new to my channel, I make military content. If you guys are interested in anything along that nature, I suggest hitting the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, let's break this down. So the first thing that drew me to this, cause there's shootings all across the US, as, as bad as it is, like that's almost uh, one of the things the US is known for. We're, we have shootings and shit. Two things brought my eyes. Obviously this was a military shooting. And two, this was in Illinois. If you guys know, I was born and raised in Bolingbrook in Naperville, Illinois, and Rockford isn't even that far away. In fact, my aunt, uncle live there. So, I mean, that was kind of concerning. Obviously, I think my family would have told me if something happened, but out of curiosity, I went ahead and clicked on the article. 37 year old Sergeant First Class Duke Webb, a Green Beret with multiple, multiple combat tours was on leave. He went to a bowling alley and went on a shooting spree literally killing three people over the age of 65 to 73, shooting a 14-year-old boy, a 16-year-old girl, and then injuring another man. As of right now, it's just deemed a random act of violence. They can't really declare what his motives were. Obviously, most people are thinking PTSD due to his multiple combat deployments. However, the major general of his command already came out and denounced his actions, saying this does not reflect on special operations, but he did caveat and say this was out of character for him. Now, do I think the general and this guy know each other on a personal level? Probably not, but who knows? It's the special forces community and maybe they're tight like that. There's multiple sad things about this and you can't really justify the guy's actions even if he has PTSD because multiple people lost their life and these little kids now are gonna develop PTSD of their own because of the actions he took. This guy was 37 years old and he joined back in 2008. So he had 12 years in service and he only needed eight more to retire. This guy's already high ranking enough and he has multiple, multiple awards with Valor. So he was leading a somewhat successful career that he kind of flushed down the drain that night. He was a recipient of two bronze stars, two commendation medals, which are pretty high up if you guys are not familiar with, you know, Navy, Army, Marine Corps medals. An Army Achievement Medal, Good Conduct Medal, fourth award, you get those every three years if you don't have any sort of bad things going on. So it, it seems like his record so far, or at least in the military, is clean as a whistle. Now, if things been pushed under the rug before in Special Forces communities, of course, we, you guys saw the article where that Navy SEAL killed an Army Ranger, thinking he would get away with it. Who knows what could have happened in the past with this guy. He's had four combat tours, four combat tours. A lot of people in the military barely even have combat tours nowadays besides the special forces community. Each one, he could develop more and more PTSD, depression, anxiety that maybe again get swept under the rug because they need people to perform at this certain level. The military pumps a lot of money into these people and although they tell you guys to reach out and get help, if you have ever talked to these operational guys, they want to do their job, they wanna stay operational. So a lot of times there's the misconception, if they seek help, they're gonna be taken out of their profession, which maybe should have been the case for this guy. Like apparently he was taking unspecified medications that resulted in memory loss. Was that prescribed by the military? Maybe, maybe not. He's gonna testify February 16th and in the meantime, they're gonna make him undergo multiple, multiple mental health evaluations. He might not even be fit enough to stand trial. I'm gonna leave you guys with some pictures of the crime scene. Tell me your thoughts down in the comments down below. Should this guy get the death penalty? Should the judge be lenient on him because he obviously has mental health issues from serving our country? And on the other side of the coin, does it matter if you have mental health issues? A murder is still a murder. I'm curious what you guys were thinking. I'm kind of borderline on the fence. I have empathy for the guy because of course, you know, mental health is a real problem in the military. However, shooting some defenseless old people and some kids just doesn't sit too well with me. I don't know, maybe I'm being judgmental. 